And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And I hate to point to that missed field goal from their last drive, but you look at the scoreboard, they would be in the lead if they had that three. Well, no doubt those points or those missed points do loom large. But here they're getting a chance for a makeup, aren't they? Almost like my time in school, I was always begging my teachers for a makeup exam. Here's their opportunity now to put those points on the board. And every point becoming more vital here in the second half. He'll look to throw. On the crossing route, complete. It's Bell. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Le'Veon Bell with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Back to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that...